We is the only scholar. <laughs> Hey Abbas, how peace are with you? you brother. Uh, peace with you too. Oh well, you improve or you go against your Bible? No, I'm you going. No, my my Lord, He says, pray for yeah. those who hate you and bless no. them too. Yeah, it's, it no, is you who's going. It different. is you who go against your, your Quran. Your your prophet said, "La tabda ul Yahuda wa Nasara bi salam." Don't initiate salam to the Christians and the Jews. Did he say that or not? And your fake apostle Paul says, "Don't greet those people who come to your home. Don't know no, those who don't." Believe. Don't welcome them in your homes. Don't greet them, which means don't enter no, in your home. No, 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 don't, said, don't, no, don't, don't, don't greet them. Don't welcome them no, in your home, which means no, don't, no, no, don't no, 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 allow no, no, people no, no, who will no, teach false teaching to enter no, your no, home. No, don't lie. Read that in Timothy. It says. Don't welcome them in their home. Thank you. And don't greet. Yes, don't, don't welcome greet. them. Don't no. okay. And don't greet no. them. What does that mean? They are not welcome. Meaning you're not you're not supposed to greet me. You're not supposed to greet me. You're okay, so you so you, so you agree that you are a scam. You agree that you are a scam. You agree uh, agree that you are a scam. Okay. You see, you see, you see. Okay, let me ask you. Did Paul order the Christians to kill those who they are coming to your home? Did Paul? Hmm. He might have. Okay. Did he know, order? No, you have to show me. Did Did Paul? He ordered the Christians have, to hurt those people after, who come to your home. No, no. Did, did I want to answer? Did go, Paul order them to hurt those people who the, you see them and they are not Christians? You see, you Christians, you scholars. I'm asking you. Father, I'm asking you. Why you not answer? Okay. So why? Okay. Did he? Did he? Did he? Uh, uh, listen, listen, Abdul. Did he? Did he or he did not? Did he order the Christians to hurt those who they are the Christians? Yes or no? Why always yes or no? There's no other answer in the middle? No, you have Why? because you are the one who have knowledge. You don't have a knowledge now? Okay. No, 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 I'm asking, now okay, as long as you will not answer about this one, I will answer. Uh, okay, hold on. I will answer. No. Now, I'm asking you. Did the other prophet, he says, don't greet them and hurt them? Don't run away from your Bible. We are not. We are not. We are not. No. Those are people not in the street. Those people are coming to your home to deceive you. So don't greet them. Don't welcome them. They are not welcome here for they are false like Muhammad. Now, the question is, he never says hurt anyone and they are not welcome in our houses. Now, I'm asking you, did your prophet says don't greet the Christians or he said hurt them? No, no, no. I'm not going to let you off the hook, man. I'm not going to let you off the hook. I'm going to pin you down. Listen to me here now. I'm listening. Go the ahead. Answer is, uh, the answer is no. That why Paul didn't say that is true. You say no. But the reason is, hmm. what's the reason behind it? Because you Christians, the church father, were such a hypocrite liars. Hmm. What they did, they have about 300 books. Out of the 300 books, they picked 27. 100 gospels. Out of, out of 100 gospels, they pick only four. Whatever choose their way. Who is the who is the one who chose? Who is the one who chose four? Wait a minute, I'll tell you. Hmm. Do you know these uh, Dead Sea Scrolls? Dead Sea Scrolls we found now, what the Dead Sea Scrolls are telling us? Hmm. Scholars say, Dead Sea Scrolls say that Paul was a wicked preacher according to the Abionites. Hmm. He was, yeah, sorry, according to the Essenes. Hmm. He was a wicked preacher. Hmm. A, a bad man, evil okay, let man. Let me ask you: Do you oh, agree that Paul? Stop. Do you agree that Paul? He was a bad. No, no, no. You see, I don't know. There's, there's many cults. Now, Abdul, listen. There's many cults, and I can show you that too. That Ahmadiyya, they say that Muhammad is not the last prophet, and this is a lie. And they have their own new book, and they have a new religion, and they say that Allah He spoke to Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, and He is the Messiah. Is that going to be used yeah, against yeah. you? Is that going to be used against you as a Muslim or not? Is that going to be used against you as a Muslim or not? So let us let us you see. Don't don't change the topic. You, you are a, you are a coward as usual. Why you are changing the topic? Let's go one by one. Did your prophet say hurt the Christian when you see them in the? You are the one who quote for me, Paul, right? Okay. So don't change the topic. Did 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 Muhammad Paul? He said don't greet them. You are the one who quote the verse for me. So be a man. So Paul said don't greet them. Don't welcome in your houses. That's what you said. I agree. They are not welcome. Okay, now I am saying to you, did your prophet say don't welcome them in your home or you have and you have a duty to hurt them in the street? You greet me. You are not a Christian anymore. You know that. No, no, I agree. No, I agreed you. No, I agreed you because Jesus says, bless those who curse you. 
I can bless you too. I can bless you too. I can bless you too. Not only I can greet you. Paul here is speaking about specific place. They are coming to your home to deceive your children. So don't welcome them in your home, not in the street. So now I'm asking you, did Muhammad say he's heard the Christians and the Jews when you see them in the street? Jesus of the Bible is a hate preacher. What are you talking about? Well, I am, uh, okay, about. answer about this and teach me about the hate of Jesus. Go ahead. I see what Jesus is Why you are a prophet? Preacher. I'm asking you, my friend. I'm asking you. Be, be a man. Be a man. Did Muhammad say when you see Christians in the street, you should hurt them? I already told you last time. I what you told me now, you didn't tell me. You ran away. You did not tell me. You did not tell me. You did not tell me anything. Okay, tell me now. I'm, li I'm listening. Did, did he? Did he or not? Did he or not? So you do not have a courage to talk about Bible for two. I'm days. talking about the Bible. I answer you. I answer you about the not Bible. I, I answer Islam. you about the Bible from Paul and from Jesus. Both of them, they never teach hate against anyone. They are coming to us in our house. They are not welcome. But we, if those who pray, those who curse us, we pray for them. Those who want to hurt us, we bless them. This is what the Bible says. Now I am answering you. Can you answer me? Why Muhammad saying if you see Christian and the Jews in the street, you have to hurt them and force them to walk in the sewage. You have to force them to change the direction. You have to take them after the road. I will answer. Hmm. But you just what you're doing is what you can't do that what you just did. Hmm. You always say something nice about Bible and run to the Quran. I have to address what you said about the Bible. I'm going to refute you okay. what you said about the Bible. Then I come back to Hadith and the Quran. No problem. All right. All right. But you just can't do that. Make the Bible and Christianity good and come back to the Quran and yes or no. You can't just do that. Now I'm going to refute you. Hmm. Who's greater? Jesus or Father? Uh, no, don't, 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 don't change. Don't change. You can, you can. You, this is, this is, we finish this. Uh, listen, 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 listen. Let, let us talk about hurting people and greeting people. Our topic now, uh, Abbas, listen, don't act like a kid. Our topic now, you are the one who opened it. You said, Paul, he said, don't greet them if they come to your house and don't welcome them. Okay. Okay, I, I, he said that. I agree. Now, did Paul he say hurt yes, those people? No. Did Paul say be evil to them? No. Did Paul say to them do damage or harm to them? No. So now I'm asking you, what kind of a prophet? Let us compare between Paul teaching and Muhammad teaching. Muhammad said when you see Christian and the Jews in the street, you have to humiliate them. You have to force them to walk in the sewage. Question: Why? Uh, why? Okay, I'll, 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 we talked about it last time. Anyway, no, we did not. No, you'd never answer as usual. You, you, you run. You keep to, you keep repeating yourself until I hang up on you. This is what happened always. You never answer anything. Okay. You will keep talking, talking, Listen, talking. Man. You say nothing, and then I hang up on you because I lose my patience. Now go ahead. Uh, you know what? You don't have to hang up today. I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> Coward potato. <laughs> potato. I hang up on you because you're ashamed. So you say to me that Paul, because he said they are not welcome in your home, he's a bad person. They are coming to deceive you. There's a huge difference between saying those people are not welcome in your home for they are teaching evil. And saying when you see them in the street, hurt them. Humiliate them. Do you see the difference? And you know what? You want to teach Paul about love? First Corinthians 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have no charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind, charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, 
but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. And charity here is translation for the word love, by the way. This is in translation here coming as charity. So the greatest of all things is love. And you are saying that Paul, he was evil. Shame on you. He's saying if being a prophet or so what? Huh? Giving money to the poor? Okay, so what? I have wisdom, so what? All will perish. The greatest of all things is love. 